Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here for today's video. Um, I'm gonna be taking a look at Pexels and showing you guys how to upload video content onto their newly designed and very, very slick looking website. Now firstly, why would you want to put stock video up on Pexels? What's in it for you as a creator? Now, to be honest, it's more, here's, here's my philosophy, I do sell some stock video on pond5 it's a nice little side hustle it's i sell i think a couple of clips on a good month so right now it's very small but you know every little helps pays for beer pizza and microphones now and again uh so it's a nice little thing to do and sometimes if i have really good stuff um i'll go ahead and put that up there now pexels is a is a free stock library for photos and videos and i use pexels quite regularly for my work which is in marketing communications i'm talking about my day job i use it for my youtube video sometimes if i need less so the stock video but sometimes the stock photography so i use pexels it's free i don't need to be signed up for commercial library and honestly the reason i put up stuff on pexels myself is to kind of give back to that ecosystem a bit because you know it's not good to be just just to be a taker um so Pexels is primarily for video, but it is also a stock video library. And recently I was, you know, going through my computer, trying to clean up a bit of space, seeing if there was anything that was potentially resellable, or if not, that might be fine for Pexels. And I came across a few clips. And when I did, I said, why look at this. They have done a, they have done a nice job rolling out a very slick new interface. You know, sometimes when, you log into Google and uh, they've like changed some buttons and it feels like sometimes for Luddites like me that the only reason you uh, the UX design profession exists is to uh, piss people like me off who don't like their cheese being moved very much. Um, but this is actually a really good example of, I think, a great redesign. It's a lot better than it was before. And I thought I'd uh, take seize on the opportunity to um show you guys how to do it if you <clears throat> if you have a few clips so this is the uploader so you need to set up an account and i just want to quickly run through these on behalf of the good people at pexels because uh they did uh, write me back on twitter so firstly um it's original content that you have captured now this goes these all apply equally whether you're uploading photos or videos um so uh no no graphic nudity violence or hate um, I'm going to upload a video of, of me cutting an onion from today. So I think we're probably good on that front. Uh, here's actually an important one that might trip some folks up. Mindful of the rights of others. You must have permission from people and uh, for property depicted in the photos and videos. So when you're uploading stock to Pond5, you, for, you technically do need a, a talent release if you are uploading video with someone in it right other than yourself so likewise for uh for pexels you you do need that so that's a very easy one to kind of accidentally fall in breach of so be be aware of that and just uh, this is you know there it's like ron seal it does what it says on the tin they're letting you know now it's going to be downloaded and used for free and it's going to be licensed under the pexels license it's always not a bad idea to scrutinize the small print that no one ever bothers looking into especially when like pexel they've done a really good job at making it you know less jargony and more intelligible so they kind of highlight the main points all the photos and videos on pexels are free so you're not making money from pexels there is actually a donate functionality it's it's appreciated for people using pexel stuff to link to their creator or to attribute them but it's not required very important it's courteous but not required as it's written here attribution is not required it's always appreciated but it's not required okay and folks can modify so if you're looking at this under the creative commons or cc licenses uh people who know more about that can tell me which one this is but that is it is you are granting permission for folks using your video to modify the video that they get from pexels and likewise you as someone using it can do that right um and there's some stuff that they protect you against as the creator sharing stuff uh through it so you can't sell unaltered copies so someone can't uh, download or they technically would be in breach of pexels if they were to download the wonderful video of uh, me cutting up some onions i'm about to show and put on a premiere 
of Daniel's onion cutting expedition or sell that on pond five, which would be very, very sneaky. That would be not kosher, okay? So uh, you are protected. So let me just show you guys what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna open up to my computer if it will ever uh, wake up here. And uh, I'm just gonna get a random video from my shoot this morning uh, with some onions. I did a cooking video for a bit of fun, a bit of variety on my YouTube channel. And right, here's a video. This one of this one of this has no commercial potential. No one wants to see this video of me cutting a white onion. But you never know for Pexels. I do try to keep it, you know, not set, not put up terrible stuff as a courtesy, and I think probably their TOS. But you know, you never know. That's the thing about these stock libraries. And sometimes I type in the most obscure queries into Pexels, like you know. Uh, I can't think of any examples right now, but um, that's kind of the principle of recipro reciprocity that you're helping other people. Maybe they're making documentaries. Maybe they're just, you know, for a social post, you're helping them find something. So this could be a Pexels video of uh, cutting knife cutting into into white onion 2139 in my clip library. So I'm going to go and upload this to Pexels now. I'm not going to read through all the stuff I just did and I'm going to just drag and drop. Now this functionality is brand spanking new as of about two weeks. You get to see it. I'm going to put myself down here. You get to see it creaking up. This is what it's like folks to run a YouTube channel with a uh, four megabyte per second or megabit, whatever it is, internet connection. It is painful. Um, they don't have FTP upload, which is something I used to find kind of irritating, but um, this new drag and drop uploader is a lot better. The old one I did find would break sometimes or choke on uploads and you'd, ha you'd be trying to keep uploading and it just wouldn't work. So it looks like they really have done some improvements. So while that's going on, because we're about halfway through, here's how it works for video. You don't have to fill out quite as many fields as you do on Pond5, which is nice. So I'm just going to call it a uh, knife. I'm going to be descriptive because when people come looking for stock clips you're looking for something specific usually so i'm going to say knife cutting cutting uh white onion on chopping board i'm going to do this tags knife kitchen knife onion white onion you get me and uh sometimes pexels run these front page challenges so if uh there are any they'll populate here and you can also enter a location if it's something location specific here, it's not. Now something they've introduced in their recent um, UI overhaul is this these nice little copy paste things. So um, even though they don't have FTP, which would be nice, I'm just saying Pexels, um, they do allow you to copy and paste tags. So for example, if I'm uploading, you know, a few different shots from let's say the Empire State Building, uh, I can copy instead of having each time skyscraper, New York, Empire State Building, you can copy those tags across. So they've made it easier for folks to share their stock photos and videos for free. And uh, again, as I said, I don't think we all have to pay mortgages or you have to pay rent. I don't put all my stuff on Pexels, but anything I can put on Pexels that I think might be useful to someone, I put on Pexels. Alrighty, so we should be good now. Um, and by the way, the video must not contain clips or music you downloaded or is from someone else. And now you can click on submit content and then you have a little waiver thing here. You only uploaded photos and videos that you own. The, you don't need to read this every time that you own the copyright to and that you created myself. Indeed, that was me, the real thing, chopping an onion. And any depicted people or owners or depicted property gave you the permission to publish the photos and videos. So I did ask the onion if he was okay being on Pexels and he said, that's cool. Understand and agree, submit content. And that is, should be it. And um, now the content's being uploaded. There's, this, there's a bit of a lag uh, regarding videos cause they, it looks like to me, they go through Vimeo and then they get embedded. So I'm just gonna pause this video here and see if I can find it on my uh, profile now. So my onion video is being processed in the background, but I'll just show you some stuff I have put up. Now these are not prize winning photos or videos, but um, I, I do like my little on air sign and I thought it might be useful. I tagged it like, you know, home video recording studio. And I'm just gonna filter here on my videos to show you what they look like for other folks. Um, I thought this was quite a nice one actually of uh, whales I took when I was out whale watching earlier this summer. 
And as you can see, uh, for those familiar with Vimeo, it's definitely a Vimeo thing. Uh, this is just a few seconds of uh, water, not the most steady footage. Um, but you do get a little share link that you can share to with your community. More info uh, gives you, so three folks, uh, one person downloaded it, that's better than zero. You get to see uh, your dimensions, aspect ratio, frames per second, duration. And you can delete the video if you've decided after the fact that you want to um, that you want to delete it. And another cool thing is this integrates. I'm going to put myself away for one sec. This does integrate with Google Maps, right? So I didn't add a location tag. And in retrospect, it was in Provincetown, Massachusetts. Well, they're off the coast of that, rather. Um, so you can then save that location and add it in. Uh, and you can also update your tags. So that's pretty much it, guys, in terms of uh, Pexels from the uh, creator side, how to share stuff. They've done a good job, really good job, in fact, with that nice new interface. And, you know, if you have stock that you know you're not, you, don't, you, you don't need, you're not going to be putting it up on a commercial stock marketplace because then you'd be in breach of their terms and conditions because you're selling it for free on Pexels. So keep your Pexels stuff for Pexels and your commercial stuff if you are a commercial stock seller separately and help the uh, creative community to increase their stock photo photo and video library thank you guys for watching this video as ever and if you do want to subscribe for more please subscribe to this youtube channel have a great day